Stop it. This is not how I want. No. <laughs> Just go forwards. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today in American Truck Simulator, we are going to make a journey across America. This is Radiator Springs. Our mission for today is going to be to go from Radiator Springs. We're going to take a trip through the canyon. And then Twitch chat was telling me that there is a hidden racetrack out in Houston. I don't know where the hidden racetrack is, but we will find it. I was under the impression that Mac was a Mac. Wrong. In this game, for some reason, Mac is actually a Peterbilt. So uh, this is going to be our Mac for today. Radiator Springs, here we come. Obviously, we've got to run a 50,000 horsepower engine. Premium interior. I don't know what Mac's insides look like, but I assume they're pretty premium, right? What did he say? Hey. Oh. Lightning McQueen, baby. How cool is this? It's Sheriff. <laughs> Sheriff's hiding behind the <laughs> that Mater's like yard, I guess. Then we've got Sally's little motel. That's so cool. There's Luigi's. Luigi's looks good. Unfortunately, no white wall tires though. This is the little roundabout. Oh my God, that's so cool. Look at Sarge's boot camp. I think we need to get our trailer and then we've got to do this. That's my bad. That's that that one that one's on me boys. That one's on me. All right back to radiator springs Let's get going buddy Hopefully we just like won't fall asleep or anything because that would be not great according to my gps We're gonna get to our destination in 24 hours time We're supposed to get there on tuesday afternoon, but that's assuming we drive throughout the entire night We're gonna have to stop at some point for sure on the bright side. We do have 50,000 horsepower. So we're gonna play a bit of a game. Can we reach the Houston hidden race circuit before 24 hours is up? That's a tough question. Ah! All right, Lightning McQueen is crashed and he's now dead. How do I have more skill issues while driving Lightning McQueen around than I did when I drove 21 trailers around? Okay, I'm starting to think the 50,000 horsepower is having a dramatic effect on the car. Okay, that's so sick. Lightning McQueen through Arizona. Oh my day. Why does Lightning McQueen look blazed out of his mind on the... <laughs> why is my truck... This feels weird to say, but why is my truck getting so much understeer? Like, it just... It doesn't want to turn the corner. Like, look, look, look. Bro, I hate to break it to you. I will not be driving 25 miles an hour everywhere. It's because of the three wheels in the back. They push the truck. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are saying it's because I have too many wheels on the back. So if I get a smaller truck, then it'll be easier to drive. In that case, the next town we pull up to with like an upgrade shop, we are going to fix our truck so I can turn. You do realize it's not turning because you're such a bad driver. I don't think that's how that works. When I was editing the last video and I was talking about autonomous cars, are the majority of like police departments funded from like giving out tickets and stuff? In the future, when autonomous cars become a thing, are police departments gonna go out of business? An autonomous car is not gonna break a traffic law. It's not gonna run a stop sign or speed. So are police departments just gonna like have nothing to do except actually deal with criminals? No one's gonna be speeding. No one's gonna be running stop stop signs. The police departments aren't gonna make any money. No more giving your nan a speeding ticket because she was five kilometers an hour over. No, no. They're gonna have to find the person who stole my bicycle. The next pull-off area is Flagstaff. I've been to Flagstaff before. I went camping with a pickup truck with Xboxes on the roof. It was pretty cool. I'm out here playing no hezzy, but with a semi-truck. Absolute full sense. Use some of the shoulder to get around the big 18 wheelers. We're looking good. Same thing here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Sorry! Sorry! I'm out of control. Oh, we're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Let's not play any more no hezzy with Lightning McQueen. If we are going to make our delivery time by Tuesday, we are not going to be able to stop just yet. There was a cop who pulled someone over. <laughs> we are not going to be able to stop just yet. We're going to need to truck into the night a little bit. 
and we're probably also gonna want to pick up the speed there is so much traffic out here though the shoulder's actually considered the high speed lane in america it's, it's kind of an unknown fact they don't want you to know but if you're from europe and you rent a car and you want to and you want to drive quicker, just remember the shoulder is the best place to do it. That's okay, that was Sam's Club. We're fans of Costco here. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna have a problem. Sorry, sorry. That was, <laughs> that was an airplane on the side of the road. Uh-oh. All right, I found where I'm gonna take a little siesta. It is now 5 a.m. Um, I'm just gonna uh, put my truck back over here. After our little siesta, we did lose a little bit of time. Our estimated time of arrival is now Tuesday at 11 p.m. I think we now need to go twice the speed limit. What happened on the other side of the... Wait, 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 wait. Another airplane landed on the road. And for some reason, this truck doesn't wanna go. And all of this traffic is backing up. The town of Gallup has been discovered. They have a workshop. Boys, we are saying goodbye to our three sets of wheels back there. Let's go for only two. I think that should be better. And and we'll change the gearbox just to get more top speed. We're going to go for a two speed because that should be the fastest one. Estimated time of arrival is 11 p.m. We barely lost any time with that stop. -over. This is the type of truck that I wanted. Oh, that's unfortunate. Someone got pulled over. Wonder what he was doing. Bro, can someone get rid of this U-Haul? What the heck? Uh, okay, he's gone. The 180 miles an hour. Holy, this is fast. Uh-oh, no! No, lightning! Wait, do the cars in cars have life insurance or car insurance? That's a good question. That's a question only Lightning McQueen on the back of the trailer would be able to answer, let's be honest. We're just about to arrive in Albuquerque. That means we're in New Mexico. That means we can stop for some blue stuff. The nice thing about Albuquerque, very straight road. Maybe that's where Lightning McQueen got some of his supply. Oh, no! Uh, where did that fire truck go? Wait, oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. By the looks of things, we've left the desert and we're now back in... Uh, Grass. We're in Texas. Welcome back to one of my favorite states, boys. I first went to Texas in like, I don't know. I think it was like 2015 or something like that. The first time I ever went to Texas, I landed. I got in a taxi. The taxi driver started playing conspiracy theories over the radio and then proceeded to drive down the hard shoulder, brought me off at my hotel. And then I had the best burger I've ever had in my life. That was my introduction to Texas. And I wouldn't change a single thing about it. The stop signs in Canada are a suggestion. The speed limit signs in Texas are also a suggestion. I don't know what town that is. Oh, just overtaking a cop at 160. It's all good. They have a Tesla dealer. Aren't you not allowed to buy a Tesla in Texas or something like that? I know there used to be a rule where you had to go out of Texas to buy a Tesla. There's probably like a workaround. I don't know. That used to be a law. I know for sure. It's just a bit awkward because they make like all the Teslas in Texas. Another water tower. Wait, Fort Worth? Wait, does that mean we're in like Dallas? I didn't actually know we need to go through Dallas to get to Houston. Welcome to Texas. Oh, for God's sake. We're going straight through Dallas. Well, Dallas, I guess, is more north than we are. We've already gone past Dallas. Now we're zooming at exit. That was 240 miles an hour right into the guardrail. See, boys, I told you we'll be there in no time. We're gonna need to be on the lookout for this hidden racetrack. There's a statue of a man. We've discovered Houston, baby. Lightning McQueen has made it. All right, now we gotta find... Where is this hit... Huh? Where did he go? Oh... <laughs> Up here kind of looks promising. If you're from Houston, are these buildings accurate? Like, do these buildings look the same as the ones that are actually there? Can I get in there from here? <gasps> I can. I can. Look, this bit of the map doesn't actually exist. Lightning McQueen has arrived, baby. There's an inflatable wavy man. We got to a secret parking lot. Oh my God. Bro, look, the map just keeps getting bigger. Oh. <gasps> There it is. 
There it is. Now that we've discovered it, it spawns in on the map. Yes, that's so sick. Now we're on to the infield. Yes, on to the circuit. The pit lane. Yes, do not endanger pit stop workers. Okay, we'll try our best. No way. There's even little garages here where you can fill up your truck with fuel. And then this is the racing circuit. Inflatable wavy mans everywhere. This is genuinely so sick. And here we go. Take this corner. No, we're not doing 30. That's a 60. Yes. And then this is a 55. This is also a 55. I'm doing 90. This is apparently a 100 mile an hour corner. No, it isn't. <laughs> wow, that's sick. We got Lightning McQueen to the racing circuit. Have a nice time, Lightning. Good luck in your race, buddy.